A portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass. What's up, Treeple people? Today I'm hanging out with my 12-inch Polonuses. These are my biggest fans. Actually, I've seen this really stupid video on the internet where you take a paper airplane and you put it between two fans. It flies infinitely. Let's try it. Well, that's not how this works because that's not how physics really works when it comes to flying airplanes. Your typical unpowered glider trades airspeed for altitude, usually in some sort of descending fashion. This is kind of known as like a glide ratio. Usually let's say six to one, 20 to one. For a sailplane, it could be up to 40 to one, where it goes 40 foot and only drops one foot. So that's usually known as like a glide ratio. But I did notice you guys comment one thing. You guys said I should make a walk-along glider. Now what a walk-along glider does is it uses a principle called ridge lift to fly an airplane sort of almost infinitely as long as your legs continue to walk. This portion of this video is sponsored by LastPass. LastPass relieves the burden of remembering passwords. Stop getting locked out of your accounts and let LastPass fill in your usernames and passwords for you. With LastPass, you don't have to write, remember, or reset passwords. LastPass allows you to keep track of your passwords easily so you can stay sane. Put your passwords on autopilot with LastPass. LastPass autofills your credentials on mobile sites and apps for iOS and Android. When you open an app or site, LastPass will fill in your username and password for you, making it fast and easy to log in. LastPass has unlimited password storage, free cross-device syncing, and even password sharing. Download LastPass and alleviate all of your problems today. Thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, on to the rest of the build. Now that we're in California, let's make this hot wire foam cutter. So we're gonna take some nichrome wire and wind around this fork prong thing. That looks pretty good. It's some really thin gauge nichrome. Use an electronic speed controller and a servo tester to run this thing. And I'll wrap some tape around this thing to get this thing working. How many times can I say thing? All right, plug it in. And now let's turn it on. All right, Tom. Here, can you touch this end of the wire? Are you serious? I'm not touching you, idiot. It's really hot. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Bro. Like I like perfectly extruded it. Well, it's not extruded, but it looks like it is. What are you doing, Peter? What are you making? I'm gonna work, make walk-along gliders. What? What? A glider that flies. Uh, it, so there'd be some scientific explanation here right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. All right, I need to make my gliders now. Dude, that's sweet. Okay, let's make some sliced pieces of foam. I'm gonna make this thing very, very thin, possibly like one to two millimeters thick. First, I'm gonna use these bandsaw blades to set up some sort of fencing to kind of, you know, keep the lines cut straight. Oh yeah, look at that. That's looking pretty good. Look at that. That's cool. Wow. It's super thin. All right, this is what we're gonna make our airplanes out of. Slice a few more just because I don't want to do this again. I probably could do this a better way, but um, yeah. All right, let's make a glider. This is gonna be a standard looking little airplane thing. I'm just gonna see if I can get this to work right now. Cut out the wings, use a template. This is really, it's really small. It's actually really easy to work with this stuff. It cuts like butter with a sharp razor blade too. Use some foam to see it attach the wings. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna glue the tail on now. So I didn't even trim this or did any checks whatsoever, but it just flies. I didn't trim Watch this and even did any checks whatsoever. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Man, so cool. Oh, it looks so gently. Dude, does it need a little bit of oh. oh, whoa! <laughs> Time for the first walk along glider test. All right, it's looking pretty. Oh, no, flew into the wall. All right, let's try it again. Okay, it's looking pretty. Nope, I hit the wall again. Okay, I'm gonna get the hang of this thing eventually. It's just a little tricky because I haven't done this in a very, very long time. We're gonna make some mods and kind of like tip this board up to kind of capture some more of the air to kind of help the glider stay centered in between the, the boards so it's easier to kind of control. Haha, <laughs> that works. The only problem here is uh, I need to build a new airplane because uh, the updraft that comes up and hits this hits the wing, develops lift, but the problem is the updraft hits the tail, which pushes the nose down, making the plane go faster. So I gotta make like a plane with a ridiculously tall tail. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make a few more gliders. Oh, Kevin's also making a glider too. Look at this thing, it works pretty well. Yeah, look at it go. Oh, nice Kevin. Whoa. And the turbulence. Oh, your glider's weird. Yeah, it kind of does this. I want to make one more glider. This time I just gonna have four freewheeling propellers. The reason for the propellers is it creates a bit of drag which slows the airplane down. This is my new improved airplane number two.
So this is actually pretty amazing. I'm actually really impressed with how well this one works. It seems if you make the gliders larger, they just seem to be overall easier to handle. All right, so we've completed the test flights of the walk-on glider, but now it's time to actually test, can you actually fly an airplane in front of the fan? So we're gonna do that now, let's do some experiments. This is actually really difficult. It's not working very well at all. Oh! Uh, you had, there was like a moment, there was like a second there. You know, this fan sucks. The problem with this is it's like a slipstream coming off of this like turbulent air, and also it's very choppy, so I'm gonna have to make an airflow straightener to make this suck less. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend $500 on some stupid British contraption. Wait, wait, right, Tom? British contraptions are the best. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it is time to make the airflow straightener. We're gonna cut this cover box because it's the eco friendly way to recycle and reuse and reduce. Add the foam strips to straighten the airflow. Also, uh, how much does the glider weigh? I can't even feel this. I'm gonna go with like one and a half. Tom? See, I can't tell whether it's because it's large, you think it's lighter than it really is. Yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna go with 2.8. It is 0. 0.6 grams. Wow. 0. 0.69 grams. <laughs> <laughs> feels more uniform and straight now, so let's go ahead and begin the experiment. Go. Unfortunately, I think this isn't really working out. I mean, the plane is trying. It's sort of staying in the slope, but I think the fan is just a little bit too crappy for this to really work out. Uh, yeah. I think my next solution is to make the hill bigger. Oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Okay, yeah, I, I think I just need a bigger hill with more fans, so. Bye bye. I wanna try to blow I'm trying to get some For my next trick, we're gonna burn William's house down. No, we talked about this. No, we didn't. Candles are another storm of thermal energy. Planes, like sail planes, can actually soar through the sky using thermal dynamic lift from the sun heating up the ground in the daytime. We're gonna artificially recreate that with candles, a lot of candles. Right now, we will summon demons with our little candle thing. Hover around inside of it. Whoa, look at that. Oh, is it clear? Oh, it's actually clear. Oh, that's cool. Uh -oh. Except for the fact that it flies too well. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a racetrack of candles. I have a much lighter flying wing glider I just made like three seconds ago because of the other plane I had melted. Here we go. Whoa, Whoa that's a strong updraft. That looks promising. That it is promising. Oh! Oh, they went all the way over there. Okay, we might be actually be able to torque this. No, this is how we set the house on fire. <laughs> 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 So this is working sort of okay, but the problem is like the air is just kind of really hard to predict what it's doing. Gliders have a really hard time staying like over the candles, even when trimmed out correctly. I'm gonna try the, the plane, and it's not much better. Yeah, my tail's gonna melt. Time for the four-inch plane. Hopefully it doesn't burn up and catch on fire. I'm gonna experiment with this a little bit more. This is gonna take a long time to figure out. All right, I'm gonna make this candle row even longer now. <laughs> Did it destroy it? Destroyed. Oh no. <sighs> okay, oh, send it. About this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other thing didn't work. It was nearly impossible to get the plane to fall along a ridge, but I set the plane to go in a circle and hopefully it just thermals over the candles at random. Holy crap, there's a lot of lift. 
Of course she's flying away. Oh. 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 Peter, what if you put the candles in like a circle? Okay. Make it actually a circle. Kevin had a good idea of making a it circle. It was my idea. No. It was literally my idea. So what if you make a circle here. with a hole in it? I, I said, said it. Well, All right, well, it look, what are we doing? Are we summoning demons, Peter? We're summoning demons of flight. Oh, oh here we go. Okay, maybe Whoa. It was totally oh, my Oh, that's so cool. It's actually working now. It doesn't look real. <laughs> it looks like it's it does. It looks like it's tied to the ceiling or something. Yeah. That's awesome. Longest flight ever. I mean, all things considered, it's a pretty long flight for like how how far you're dropping it from. That's probably the the record flight for the height dropped. If you think about it. That's pretty cool. Ah! I feel pretty happy about that. That really shows like the thermal lift coming off. I mean, maybe if you had a few more candles and a propane torch, it might have been better. But I I think you value your house more than my experiments. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for the. What can I say except you're welcome? Thank you for the wax floor. The floor waxing. Floor People waxing. pay good money to get their floor wax. I should be appreciative. Because I tried to build one at the uh, at William Osmond's place, but unfortunately, Walmart fans kind of suck, and I can't really regulate the speed very well. Plus, I was in a time crunch, so I came back home and built this way bigger thing. Alright, how's the wind feel? Here's a demonstration of how straight the air is. Oh, it's still turbulent though. Even that's not really enough. Oh! Okay, that's pretty good. I think right now we really just need to build a bigger ramp. So we're gonna make the bigger ramp and then try this again. All right, so now instead of the airflow coming out at a slow velocity and compounding as it goes up the ramp, making the airflow faster, now it's the opposite. Now the airflow is really high at the bottom and low at the top. That'll keep the plane from flying too far down there and then coming back up. All right, I think I just about gave up on trying to make a self-sufficient flying airplane. They just don't stick very well inside this ramp. Maybe if I put way more effort than I want to in this, it might work. We may revisit it later, but probably not like most of you guys keep pointing out. So instead, we're just gonna go ahead and just fly these things and make a few more gliders. Like this is a new design with four props and we're gonna use this board and do a little more of that. So technically it's still an infinite flying glider considering the glider, as long as you keep walking behind it or use some sort of outside force, it will pretty much fly indefinitely as long as you keep going. You are finite and you probably will die though eventually due to fatigue or tiredness. But this is still pretty cool. Yeah, it's not really infinite, as in it doesn't fly itself infinitely. But yeah, if you got a board, actually, you guys are probably gonna call me out for that, but whatever, big deal. Anyways, these things are super fun. We actually made quite a few of them. Sam made a few different gliders. He made a thing called a tailwind glider. Yeah, so that's really easy to make. You just a couple simple folds, and you got one of those. 
It also works with the paper airplane too, not super well because air paper airplanes generally fly faster. So it made some have tissue paper, so they flew a little bit slower, which worked. But my favorite are simply like these t tail airplanes because they perform simply the best. They're also really easy to handle too. Now I did get the inspiration from another channel called Science Toy Maker, so you might want to check that out. I'll put a link down below. That's where I originally kind of discovered like walk-along gliders like way back in the day. I think you also have some tutorials on how to make your own gliders too and make your own hot wire cutter. So if you want to do something, check that out. That'll be somewhere down in the description. That's a wrap. And that's a wrap. Thanks to LastPass for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, on to the rest of the build.